Of us take pose in review order. Take pose. Quick march. Officers, at rest. Flag officers, how do I tell? And it is.
ここに Ladies and gentlemen, the State President of the Republic of South Africa, His Excellency Mr. Matamela Cyril Ramaphosa has arrived. Please rise and remain standing for the playing of the South African National Anthem. The salute will only be acknowledged by the President. I repeat, the salute will only be acknowledged by the President. So we are waiting for the for the captain to move as the captain was the game.
President Cyril Ramaphosa, ministers and deputy ministers, the leadership of provincial government and the leadership of the district municipality and the local municipality, the management complement of government, ladies and gentlemen, it brings us great honor for us to be here today for this launch that we have seen from legislation, conceptualization, till today, President West, we see boots on the ground. I would like as a first item to call Mr. B. Tabete, who is a border guard, to do the citing of the Code of Ethics. My name is Njabulo Peganzuza. I will be the program director for some parts of the program. Thank you. Over to you, Mr. Tabet. Oath of Office for Border Guards. We as Border Management Authority Border Guards swear to uphold the Constitution of the Republic of South Africa as the supreme law of the country. That we will discharge the border law enforcement functions with integrity, honesty, and to the best of our ability in order to protect the sovereignty of the Republic of South Africa, as well as the safety of her people and resources. We further swear to serve with vigilance and excellence, and we will always have the courage to challenge any behavior that is ethically out of character, and hold ourselves and fellow border guards accountable for our actions. We take this oath freely and with no reservations. So help us God. Thank you very much, uh, Botakat Tabete. The oath of office is a very important symbol and commitment by the border guards to do their work in an ethical manner. I will then swiftly move to the next item on the agenda, which is for us to have the welcoming remarks in the province of Limpompo by MEC Sokwati, who is also the acting premier in the province. Over to you, acting premier, MEC. Hey! Stand at ease! Thank you, Prime Director and Deputy Minister Tatin Zuza, His Excellency, the President of South Africa, Matamela Sal Ramaphosa, the Minister of Home Affairs, Dr. Aaron Mutualedi, and other ministers accompanying the President, the Deputy Minister of Home Affairs, my colleagues in the Limpopo Executive Council, Executive Mayor of Vembe District Municipality, Bodoelani Nengoda, Commissioner of the Border Management Authority. Ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon and welcome to the momentous occasion as we gather here in Musina to witness the launch of the Border Management Authority by the President of South Africa. It's also an honor to have you all here today. I would like to extend a warm welcome to our esteemed president, 
His Excellency President Ramaphosa, and express our gratitude for gracing us with your presence. Your commitment to development and security of our nation is truly commendable. And we are honored to have you here to inaugurate this significant milestone. Today also marks a different moment for our province and our nation as we establish the Border Management Authority. This authority will definitely play a pivotal role in ensuring the effective management and security of our borders, safeguarding our nation's interests, and facilitating legitimate trade and travel. Musina being a strategic location on our, in our country's borders hold immense importance in the context of border management. It serves as a gateway connecting South Africa to our neighboring countries, fostering economic growth and promoting regional integration. The establishment of the Border Management Authority in Mosina will enhance our capacity to manage and regulate the movement of goods, people and services across the borders. The Victims of Crime Survey released in August by Statistician General Rasenga Maluleka found Limpopo residents felt that the safest working, felt the safest in working alone during the day and at night. Today's event will certainly add on to the level of confidence that our residents have already shown uh, previously. The Border Management Authority will not only strengthen our national security, but also contribute to the growth and development of our province. It will create opportunities for trade, investment and job creation, benefiting both our local communities and the broader community. Mr. President, as a province, we have identified Musina as the center for economic development. We have here Musina, Makado Special Economic Zone, that will be the center of development in this area. The security provided by the border management will add further to the potential growth in this area, and we will therefore welcome the launch today. As we embark on this new chapter, I urge all stakeholders to work together in a spirit of collaboration and cooperation. Let us harness the potential of this authority to build bridges, foster regional partnerships, and promote peace and stability within our borders. Once again, I extend my heartfelt gratitude to our president for his unwavering commitment to the progress of our nation. Your, pre your presence yet, Your Excellency, Mr. President, is a testament to your dedication to the well-being of our people. Thank you, and may this launch be the beginning of a successful journey for the Border Management Authority. I thank you. Allah, Allah, Mr. President, Allah, Allah. Hala, hala, our president, Ramaphosa, hala, hala. Hey, ta, Mr. President, hey, ta. Yeah. No, thank you very much, uh, Acting Premier, for those warm, welcoming words to the province. Indeed, we feel warm. As you can see, it's 35 degrees now. So we feel very warm and uh, your words are acting there. Uh, indeed, you are correct. We do have a responsibility to balance our economic interests and our economic development interests together with the security of this particular country. I will therefore wish to now call upon a medical doctor by profession, a statesman, a patriot, the former MEC, here in Limpombo, the former Minister of Health in the Republic of South Africa and the current Minister of Home Affairs in South Africa, Minister Dr. Aaron Mutualeti. The floor is yours, Minister. Program Director and my colleague, Deputy Minister of Home Affairs, Ren Chabulun Zuza, His Excellency, 
the President of the Republic of South Africa, Mr. Cyril Ram Matamela Ramaphosa, cabinet ministers who are members of the Interministerial Consultative Committee on Border Management Authority, Minister Togo Didiza, Minister Kumbuso Ntabeni, Deputy Minister of Police, Rekhasil Matale, Deputy Minister of Health, Resbongiseni Lomo, and of course, the Program Director, who is the Deputy Minister of Home Affairs, Ren Suza, the Acting Premier of Limpopo, Resi Aparoskwati, and members of your Executive Council, Executive Mayors of Vembe and Kune Districts, Mayors of Musina and Tulamela, Council of the District and Local Municipalities, and Tribal Authorities, the Chairperson and members of the Portfolio Committee of Home Affairs, Chairperson Mr. Musa Chabani, the Commissioner of the Border Management Authority, Dr. Nakambe Mashia Pato, Deputy Commissioner for Corporate Services in the Border Management Authority, Mayor Jane Tupana, and Deputy Commissioner for Operations in the Border Management Authority, Mayor General Chilembe, representative for various organs of state, members of the BMA and Border Guards, and members of the media, ladies and gentlemen, Mr. President, here we are. The day we've been promised has arrived. And we are grateful, Mr. President, that within your busy schedule, you find it important and necessary to come and honor this occasion. The main purpose of today is for Mr. President, as the Commander-in-Chief of the Armed Forces, to launch the Border Management Authority of South Africa as the third national armed law enforcement authority after the army and the police. Standing here before us are the country's key ambassadors who stand as the first officials that tourists and all visitors to South Africa meet when they arrive at our shores. In this launch, Mr. President, we have got a group of young border guards who have, like the first cohort introduced in July last year, undergone rigorous selection process that includes interviews, physical assessment, etc. Today, they start the journey as the border guards for deployment in any of the 72 ports of access to the country, be it land, air, or sea. Just to give you an idea, Mr. President, among the border guards who are standing in front of you here today, is Miss Andy Lemtetra, the flag bearer for the maritime border guards. She is from Bombela in Pumalanga and has previously worked in the South African Navy. The maritime border guards, Mr. President, are new. They are wearing blue uniforms. And there are 50 of them who have just been trained. We also have Ntogoso and Changase from Mpangeni in KwaZulu Natal, who says in her own words, it is all about securing our border for development. She also worked in the South African Navy. We also have 23 year old Tamaras Serate from Zibidiela in Limpopo who completed a diploma in policy management last year. 
He is well vested in various tactical law enforcement operations and is ready to implement various border laws in the border law enforcement area. This is just a symbol of the type of people we want to perform this job. So it's an example of the skill set that has been attracted to the Border Management Authority. Additional to the conventional law enforcement team, Mr. President, the authority does have officers of various skill sets ranging from immigration experts. From the 1st of April this year, all the immigration practitioners at our borders were transferred from the Department of Home Affairs to the Border Management Authority. We also have environmental biosecurity experts. All these experts from the Department of Environment, Forestry, and Fisheries, who specialize in fauna and flora, has from the 1st of April been transferred to the Border Management Authority. We also have agricultural biosecurity experts. And again, Mr. President, from the 1st of April this year, all the experts in agriculture who decides what comes in and leaves the country in that field, they have been transferred to the Border Management Authority. And lastly, Mr. President, all the Port Health officials, many people, Mr. President, started knowing that there are health officials at our borders during COVID, when people were demanding certificates or vaccination or, or to see whether you were tested, you are positive or negative. Those are Port Health officials. They've been doing this work even during the time of Ebola and other diseases. From the 1st of April, they too have been transferred to the Border Management Authority. So we are thankful for all of them who have decided to join us as we incrementally implement the Border Management Authority. Only in November 2021, we started the process of establishing this Border Management Authority with the appointment of the commissioner and the two deputy commissioners, Mr. President, who you are going to rank in a short while today. During that period, the Border Management Authority was incubated in the Department of Home Affairs as a branch. But as I said from the 1st of April, they are now a standalone 3A entity of the state under the Border Management Authority. We are now well on the path towards the full realization of an integrated border management platform with a single command and control across our ports of entry and border law enforcement. Mr. President, before we establish the Border Management Authority, all these different groups I mentioned today including the Army, of course, which I didn't mention, including SARS, which I didn't mention, all of them between them, they had to apply 58 acts of parliament at the borders. And it's one of the reasons why it was so difficult to control our borders. Now, under the BMA, they've got one command structure. The media once asked me, and I thought they were going to ask me for their benefit I want to explain this, the issues of policy. When we transfer people from agriculture, environment, health, and immigration from home affairs, that does not mean, Mr. President, that the Border Management Authority then takes over the job of agriculture or health or environment. What it means is those departments will remain enacting policies and all that the people who have been transferred to do is to implement those policies on the ground. As to what type of disease is allowed 
in South Africa or not. We can't determine that in the PMA. We don't have that skill. We will hear the Department of Health. They will say, we don't allow anybody with cholera. We don't allow anybody who's not vaccinated. We don't allow anybody who comes here with COVID. All that the Port Health authorities do is to implement that. Same as agriculture, the Minister of Agriculture will still make all the policies and tell us that this one is food and mouth, it's not allowed. Ours is to do. So we are implementers in the Border Management Authority. Mr. President, I'm indebted to the members of the Interministerial Consultative Committee on the Border Management who have diligently overseen the work of implementing the BMA. There is a group of 10 ministers who have formed this interministerial committee. Now, as you know, Mr. President, all the interministerial committees are appointed by yourself. This is the only interministerial committee you did not appoint, Mr. President, because it is appointed by an act of parliament. A law passed by parliament directly tells us who must be the minister in that interministerial committee. So it is the minister of home affairs who is required to chair that committee by law. It is the minister of defense. It is the minister of police. It is the Minister of State Security. It is the Minister of Finance, without whom I've learned that nothing happens, whether you like it or not. So you have got to, to, to kneel in front of him if you want things to happen. And I do that quite often, Mr. President. It is the Minister of Trade, Industry, and Competition it is the Minister of Agriculture, as I've already said, Land Affairs and Rural Development. It is the Minister of Environmental Affairs, Forestry and Fishery. It is the Minister of Health. And it is the Minister of Transport. They are required by law to meet four times a year, statutorily, to determine the work of mass, what must happen at the borders but we also call them if the situation demands. That is the interministerial committee, Mr. President, a unique one for South Africa. Mr. President, Commissioner Mashia Batum and Deputy Commissioner Chilembe and Deputy Commissioner Tupan are aware of the task that awaits them. And so, Mr. President, we give them over to you to give them the matching orders as the Commander-in-Chief. Thank you very much. No, thank you very much, uh, Minister Mtsualedi. I will now hand over to Commandant Antoinette Rufilwe Matalane, who will then take us through the ranking of the Commissioner of the BMA and the tool. I will then hand over to Commandant Antoinette Refilwe Matalane to take us through the ranking of the Commissioner of the BMA and the two Deputy Commissioners. Over to you, Commandant. Sir, I will now invite the Commissioner designate and his two deputies to ascend the stage in the following order. Dr. Nakampe Michael Masia Pato. Commissioner.
Ms. Ms. Jane Tupana, Deputy Commissioner, Corporate Services. General David Shilembe, Deputy Commissioner, Operations. The, the handing over of the sword to the Commissioner of BMA as a sign of power and authority will now commence. The sword symbolizes the following. The cross sword and staff with other insignia is used as a sign of rank in the BMA and is worn by person of the rank of Deputy Assistant Commissioner and higher. The staff is made, is made up of an X which shows the ability to cut through untruth or prejudice, while the sword represents the bundle of sticks, which shows that together we stand stronger than individuals. In fact, the staff combined with the sword confirms that together they have greater power than they would if they were separated. In summary, the cross sword and staff represent the following seven traits. Power. A sword represents a symbol of power which is given to, to the BMA in terms of an act of parliament. This power is exclusively used to protect South Africa's national interest 
and promote its national security. Authority. The staff represents a symbol of authority which has since the Roman times been carried in front of a Roman magistrate, giving him or her the authority to govern. Similarly, in the BMA, the staff symbolizes authority that is vested in those members who have the honor of wearing it. Lawfulness and legality. The sword also represents the, sword, the, sword, the symbol of authority in all matters of lawfulness and legality, which represents the wearer's total submission to the principles of legality and lawfulness. In this regard, the wearer shall not be in a law, for, in a law into themselves, but they shall do all in their power to uphold the rule of the law and legality at all times. Righteousness. Further, the sword is a symbol of justice and righteousness, thus symbolizing the BMA's commitment to render justice and reliable service during the facilitation and management of the movement of persons and goods across the ports of entry and the border law enforcement areas. Position of rank and leadership. The cross sword and staff has, since the earliest times, been the symbols of position of rank and leadership, which brings greater responsibility on the task at hand. By wearing this insignia, the bearers pledge to carry out their functions with humility and respect. Humility with authority and power. The sword in religious writing is symbolic of a spiritual realm, a symbol of divine guidance and correction. This symbol thus indicates that the bearer will humbly submit to that authority that is above all else. Relationship in the law. This symbol of cross sword and staff is also shared with other law enforcement authorities. Therefore, BMA identifies with all other security services from which other partnership can make South Africa a better place. Ladies and gentlemen, please rise for the handing over of the sword to the Commissioner of BMA. Hey! Attention! Thank you, Commissioner.
Stand at ease. The minister will now invite the president to inspect the parade.
Thank you, President and the Minister. Hey! Ta-da! Ladies and gentlemen, I will now call upon the functionary of the event, the State President of the Republic of South Africa, His Excellency Mr. Matamela Cyril Ramaphosa, to deliver the keynote address. Ladies and gentlemen, please rise. Thank you. You may be seated. Thank you, Program Director, Minister of Home Affairs, Dr. Aaron Mutualedi, Ministers here present today, Deputy Ministers, Acting Premier of our province here in Limpopo, the Mayor of Mosina, and also the District Mayor of Vembe, the Commissioner of the Border Management Authority, Dr. Masia Pato, and Deputy Commissioners, traditional leaders who are here present with us, members of parliament, including the chair of the Portfolio Committee of Home Affairs, officials, guests, members of the media, and ladies and gentlemen, it is a real pleasure to be here in the northern part of our country to officiate on a most important launching of an important organ of our state. We are gathering here today to witness the fulfillment of a commitment that we made some time ago that we will take steps to enhance the safety and the protection of the people of our country by establishing a single, integrated, and efficient authority to manage and to secure the borders of the Republic of South Africa. As South Africans, we seek to live in peace and harmony with each other, as well as with our neighbors. Earlier today, this morning as I arrived, I paid a visit to the Bight Bridge area and met President Mnangagwa. And through that brief meeting, we confirmed indeed that both of us as countries want to live in harmony with each other. And we confirmed that we seek a better life for all our people, free from fear and want. When our country's ports of entry and borders are well protected and well managed, we are able to prevent the illegal importation and exit of goods into and from our country. We are able to facilitate lawful trade at a greater scale and much more importantly in an efficient manner. 
This is becoming increasingly important as we work with other countries in our region and elsewhere on the continent to increase intra-African trade, particularly as we begin to harness the benefits of the African continental free trade area. A more secure border is important for curbing illegal migration, the movement of people between countries on an illegal basis. It is important to curb human smuggling and trafficking. The Border Management Authority will help in combating cross-border crime as well. And that is why it becomes an important arm of our security apparatus. The constitution of our country declares that South Africa belongs to all who live in it. All citizens have the right to enter, to remain in, and to reside anywhere in the republic. As is the case in every sovereign country, foreign nationals who seek refuge or wish to live and work in South Africa are subject to immigration laws and regulations. The Border Management Authority is tasked to ensure that the country's immigration laws and regulations are upheld and that they are enforced. The BMA was established in response to a number of serious challenges. One of these challenges is the increase in the number of undocumented foreign nationals entering our country. This has exacerbated many of our country's social and economic problems. The movement of persons and goods at ports of entry has often not been as efficient as it should be. It has not often been as well as the people of, of South Africa expect it to be. And this has resulted in unnecessary delays and increased costs for individuals and those who trade, this in turn harms our economy. Deficiencies in border management have also enabled corruption and organized and cross-border crime to thrive and to grow and to increase. We have faced a problem of fragmentation of powers, responsibility, and accountability. Since 1994, the country's border management has been exercised by different government departments and state agencies. Often they implement their own respective mandates in isolation, without proper coordination, without proper working together, lack of that coordination, as well as inadequate information sharing between various management and enforcement authorities have rendered our borders vulnerable because in the course of time we have had the immigration authorities as in home affairs 
working in isolation from the customs and duties authority, the police, South African police working separately, and the defense force working separately. Now, the Border Management Authority will provide a suitable solution to the structural challenges of border security, control, and coordination. The Border Management Authority will be a new model of integration of functions, of integration of roles, and responsibilities in the broader law enforcement environment to make sure that the movement of people and goods is properly managed, properly overseen, and properly regulated. The BMA is expected to tackle the challenges of congestion, delays that often happen at our borders, long queues, long transit times, lack of predictability, and high logistics costs. I commend the Border Management Authority for the speed with, with which it has already commenced its work. And I commend in this regard Minister Aaron Mutualeri, his Deputy Minister, and all other cabinet colleagues for the work that they have done through the interministerial committee to make sure that we get to this point. This border management agency will form part of integrating border management activities in the SADC region as well, as we implement the African continental free trade area we will be able to work towards eradicating various forms of red tape that are hindering free trade as well as investment and the movement of people. The BMA will be redeveloping six ports of entry as one-stop border posts. This approach will improve, improve efficiency at land border crossings by combining the stops required for processing exit and entry formalities. In July, we saw the deployment of the first officers of the border guard of the Border Management Authority at vulnerable segments of the borderline, including the informal community crossing points. While the Border Guard will be conducting border law enforcement functions, including access control, the South African National Defense Force remains responsible for border protection and safeguarding. They remain responsible for securing the safety of the people of South Africa. The Border Guard will interface with the police through the nearest police station with regards to the occurrence of a crime at any port of entry. The BMA is now, as you heard from Minister Mutualeri, the third armed service in South Africa after the Nation, South African National Defense Force and the South African Police Service. It is mandated to perform border management functions 
within ports of entry as well as the law enforcement area. So we are establishing and launching today this BMA through an incremental approach. Steps have already been taken to integrate under the Border Management Authority various relevant functions of the Departments of Home Affairs, Agriculture, Health, and Fisheries, and Forestry, and the Environment. To enable its work, the BMA has signed implementation protocols that is, agreements with the South African Revenue Service, that is SARS, the Police Service, and the Defense Force. I do therefore congratulate the Border Management Authority Commissioner and his two deputies who have received their ranks today, and as you saw, are even handed over a sword to the commissioner. As I stood in front of him and he took out that sword, I hesitated for a moment, <laughs> wondering what he's going to do. But that is a sword of authority to enable them to execute their work. We wish them well, and I'd like all of you who are going to work with them to support them. They have my full support as the Commander-in-Chief, and they have the full support of the Minister as well. Ensuring our borders are well managed and well protected is key to the security and development of our country. In undertaking this task, I'd like them to ensure that they have the support and the trust also of the people of South Africa, who will also be moving through our borders. We want you to give them the support and the respect because they are executing their duties, their responsibilities, and authority on behalf of the people of South Africa. Let us now move forward with uh, operationalizing this authority in pursuit of a safer, more prosperous South Africa. I thank you all who are here, who are standing at attention as the members of the BMA braving the heat of Musina, which is almost 40 degrees. I can now see that you are really men and women who are made of Stena stuff, and I congratulate you. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mr. President. The national anthem will now be played. Members in uniform must salute in conjunction with members on parade. Members in civilian clothes must remove their headdresses. Ladies and gentlemen, please rise for the national anthem.
Thank you, President. Ladies and gentlemen, you may be seated. Ladies and gentlemen, I will now call upon the District Mayor of Vembe, Councillor Dovelani Alten Nenguda, to deliver the vote of thanks. Councillor. Uh, program director, uh, Your Excellency, the President of South Africa, Matamera Cyril Ramaphosa, Honorable Minister of Home Affairs, Dr. Arun Mutaledi, Honorable Minister of Agriculture, Bo uh, Chokodi Diza, Minister in the Presidency, Bo Makazi Wokumbuzun Chaveni, Minister of Defense and Military Veterans, Metandi Mudise, Deputy Minister of Home Affairs, uh, Mr. Nzunza, uh, Deputy Minister of Health, uh, Honorable Dr. Sungisini Dromo, Deputy Minister of Police, uh, Honorable Mr. Kassel Matale, representatives of, representative of the Premier of Limpopo Province, MEC Siapore Squati, members of the Executive Council of the Limpopo Provincial Government, dignitaries from the Republic of Zimbabwe, led by the Ambassador of Zimbabwe, Ambassador David Amaziripi, members of the Border Management Authority, led by the BMA Commissioner, Dr. Masia Pato, members of the media, wow. distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, the Kovaresha Masiariano, Inklekani, Tovel, Program Director, we would like to express words of profound gratitude to the President, His Excellency, Umata Mera Siri Ramaphosa, for finding time in his busy schedule and honor this important occasion. We furthermore would like to thank the Minister of Home Affairs, Honorable Dr. Aaron Mutualedi and his team for having done everything to make this important occasion a great success. Honorable President, on behalf of people of Vembe District, we are indeed humbled by this initiative as it will go a long way in protecting our borders. The introduction of Border Management Authority will help greatly in fighting criminal syndicates that uh, continues to operate along the borderline. Program Director, as part of strengthening our relationship with the people of Zimbabwe, Vembe District Municipality has signed a memorandum of understanding with the Bidebridge Rural District Council of Zimbabwe. This MOU will see these two councils engaging on a number of socio-economic issues that are of mutual benefit between ourselves as Vembe District Municipality and the Bidebridge Rural District Council of Zimbabwe. Finally, I would like to take this opportunity to thank everyone responsible for organizing this event, including all our stakeholders who have been actively involved in ensuring that uh, this event is well delivered. As the district municipality, we are going to fully support this initiative and uh, we are encouraging all our community members to work uh, with members of the Border Management Authority to protect the sovereignty of our country. Program Director, ladies and gentlemen, we thank you for being with us today. Let us live here, not just proudly South Africans, but proudly Africans too. The Kovali Wangamanda, but water, Vashumisan Wimawan and Geo Panda, Navote, Vauva Nevote, Vachpolisa, Ravona, one national commissioner, Naziamba Sada Zashu, whatever to our Pano Kovali Wua. Thank you so much, Inkom, Riari Wua. Thank you very much, Councillor.
Ladies and gentlemen, the final compliment in the form of a march pass will now take place. The salute will only be acknowledged by the president. After the march pass, you will be required to rise and to remain standing until the functionary has descended the podium. March pass. Officers, take pose in close color. Take pose. Quick march. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
Thank you, President. Ladies and gentlemen, please rise for the departure of the President and remain standing until the President has departed. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. We have reached the end of our program. <laughs>